Alrighty guys, today what we're going to be doing is uh, converting our 1969 1030 Comfort King that just happens to have a 1070 motor in it. We bought it swapped that way. Great setup. We're going to be swapping the hydraulic pump to a 70 series pump because the 30 series parts aren't available for the pump. And this one's been getting really, really bad. You know, three points really, really slow. The remotes aren't real strong. You got to rev it up the whole way to run the remotes, which is sad. So we're going to convert it from the 30 series pump, which we have here, to the 70 series pump, which I took off a parts 1070, which we have right here. So you'll notice there's two lines on this pump, and there's only one on this pump. We're going to figure that out. So the first things you're going to have to do is take this bracket off for the top link because you can't get to this bottom bolt with that up there. And with that, you're going to have to take your remotes off, your remote lines off down here. Um, you may have to take this off to get to those bottom bolts on this. I didn't have to, but your sockets may be bigger around than mine. Um, next thing you're going to have to do is take this off, at least for us anyway, because we have to work on this piece back here too while we're in here. So uh, that's some of the stuff you're going to have to take off. We'll get uh, to some of the other stuff later. Okay, we took uh, top link bracket off here. So our remote lines are out of the way. I went ahead and took this off. This is inch and a quarter. Uh, you'll probably need to put a wrench on this other piece because it will try to turn this one instead of opening here. It'll try to open it here. That's not good. You don't want that. Um, I didn't have to, but most likely you will. I put a pan underneath. There's quite a bit of oil coming out. There, we took the pump out. Looks good and shiny on the inside, that's good. The inner workings look about the same as the other pump. Other than those three bolts there aren't on this one. And the double line thing I mentioned earlier, and a little, you know, this coupler's different there where it sits up against stuff. But I'm pretty sure we can make it work. And these bolts are on the outside, we're all 9 16 on the heads. Um, you may have to take like a little pry bar or something, like I use this. Once you get all your bolts out to pop your pump off, because if the gas gets good, you'll stick it behind the where the line was here, pry, and it'll kind of make it a thunk. And it'll kind of fall away, but it'll catch up here probably. And then you can take it out and set it down. Alright, so here we go. So, one of the lot of heat material in the middle. So, 
will be plenty enough to replace this one, which is too long. You could cut it down, but it's easier just to make a new one, I'm pretty sure. Alrighty guys, our part is done. It's not super pretty, but it fits. And it's the right length to fit in there. I would give you guys the dimensions, but I don't know them off the top of my head, and it may be different depending on what year the pump was, how worn your replacement pump is, how worn stuff is in here. You know, it's, it's going to be a guess and check kind of thing like this one was. Um, we're going to reuse the old gasket here because since the world's falling apart with the coronavirus, we're not going to order one, and we don't want to drive to a case dealer to find out they don't have it. Because they probably don't for 60s to 70s case. This is a 1969 tractor with a 71 pump or something like that. 70 pump. So we're going to put some silicone on it, slap it back together, and run it. Um, while we're here on this particular one, we're going to have to fix a spring in here because the one remote lever won't find middle like it keeps engaging. But uh, we have all the stuff to put the hydraulic pump back together. And then we'll just have to plumb that second smaller auxiliary line for like power shift, power steering, and power brakes that this, this doesn't have. You need it plumbed right through that plug and right back into the tub, and it'll be just fine. So, if you have any questions, feel free to comment. Um, go ahead and subscribe if you like working on stuff like this because. We do all kinds of projects like this, and if I have more people that like it, yeah, like Dottie says, go subscribe. If you like working on stuff like this, and people show me that, I'll do more videos, because I do stuff like this all the time, converting parts over for stuff. So, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment, and uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. All good to go now.